Hello and welcome to the second part of our Ender tutorials. In this video, we will be showing you how to calibrate your printer now that you have successfully built it. First, turn on the printer and home the axis by clicking down the dial, then select Prepare and scroll down to the Home Axis option. The printer will then move all three axes, which should hit the end stops like shown, and this will set the printer to its origin. As seen here, the extruded tip will not be near the bed, so next, the bed has to be adjusted. To do this, turn the printer off and move the extruder to one corner of the base. Adjust the nut beneath the base until a piece of standard printer paper can fit underneath the extruder, but is not completely trapped by it. Move the extruder to another corner and repeat, going round in a circle, until all four corners are the set distance from the extruder tip. When viewed on a level, there should be a consistent small gap of light between the base and the extruder throughout the travel. If using PLA filament, first select Prepare and then Preheat PLA. Wait for the extruder to heat up. In this case, it will level off at 185 degrees. Once up to temperature, Place the roll on the handle and feed the end of the spool into the feed tube, whilst holding the feed mechanism open. If fully inserted, a small amount of plastic will start to come out of the nozzle. Select cool down from the prepare menu to finish the process. To download Cura, check out the link in the description below. We use version 15 for better compatibility with the Ender. Once installed, follow the setup process for a custom printer and input the information shown here. Inside Cura, go to File, Open Profile and select the Creality Ender 2 PLA profile that can be downloaded from the No Limits 3D website which is also linked in the description. Your information should now match the data shown here. Now Cura is set up, simply load your chosen 3D model and wait for Cura to slice the model into printable layers. And then select File, Save G Code and save onto the included SD card. Insert the SD card into the printer. Use the glue stick provided to make sure that the initial layer sticks to the print bed. We are using a separate base to make it easier to remove the object after printing. But if you do this, you'll have to re-level the platform for the new base. Select Print from SD and then select your chosen G-code to set the printer going. Now sit back, relax and wait for your print to finish. And there we have it, your first print is done. Now you have your printer set up, there's no limits to what you can do, just your imagination.